How would you grade President Obama in addressing climate change? He missed a great opportunity to be a great president. You know, when he, if when he was elected and had 70% popularity four years ago, he could have gone to the public and like Franklin Roosevelt explained that for the sake of our national defense, for the sake of the economy, uh, and for the sake of climate, we should, uh, we should deal with this problem in an honest way, putting a price on carbon. You know, and I, <laughs> when I was in the United Kingdom with, with Anique after um, she had a mild heart attack there, so I was stuck there for a week. This was right after he was elected, before he took office. So we wrote a letter to him and explained this to him. And I tried to get John Holdren to deliver it to him, but he wasn't sworn in yet, so he couldn't do it. The president's science advisor. Yeah. <clears throat> But that, it's, it's a shame because he said he understood the problem. He said we have a planet in peril. But in a way, I don't think he was getting very good advice. I think that people were telling him, well, we need more solar panels and we need more efficient vehicles. And those things are true, but they're not going to solve the problem by themselves. Without a price on carbon, all you do by reducing your emissions in those ways is reduce the demand for the fossil fuel, make it cheaper, and somebody else will burn it. We have to actually leave those fossil fuels in the ground, most of what remains. And the only way that will happen is if they're, an honest, if they're honestly priced. Right now, they're heavily subsidized by you, the public. 